It's New Year's Eve. Welcome to the Chef's Table series wine pairing segment. I'm here with Ciro Peroni. He is the director of Italian wines for Horizon Beverages. So Ciro, we're celebrating New Year's Eve and you chose two great wines so I can't wait to taste. So Fred Zagami of Salem Food Market made this delicious prime rib dinner. Wow. Vegetables, roasted potatoes. So what did you choose for that? Well, uh, uh, welcome. Uh, yes, I'm, my name is Ciro Pirone. I work for Horizon Beverage. We're a proud supporter of the uh, Chef's Table series. And uh, yes, Carol, thank you for having me again. I chose two sparkling wines. It's time of celebrations. I bubbles. love sparkling Everybody's wines. Everybody's so exciting, it. so excited about uh, um, the bubbles at this time of the year. Bubbles. And most importantly, Italy's become one of the biggest and most important producers of a couple of different style of wines. First mm -hmm. and foremost, Prosecco, which has been I such a... I love Prosecco. Uh, Everybody does, and uh, we're fortunate uh, to be the producer of Prosecco. Mm -hmm. So I brought one house called Villa Sandi, um, Prosecco from Valdo Biadene, the historical heart of the area production. Yeah. And the other one, it's a Spumante Metodo Classico, so it comes oh. on Trentino. So we're in Veneto for Prosecco and Trentino Alto Adige for the production of Spumante. Oh. Uh, the wines are quite different from each other because yeah. uh, uh, logically when we talk about Prosecco, we, we, we think about one very specific area of yeah. Italy, which is uh, for the most part Veneto, Northeast Italy, but also the region of Friuli, which is to the side of it. And uh, the wines are, are different, at least uh, when we talk about these two wines, because mm -hmm. we think Prosecco, think about uh, a grape varietal called Glera, and the wines are made in a, um, I don't want to pop too much, <laughs> but uh, uh, think about uh, a method of making that it's a little Thank less labor-intensive mm -hmm. compared to wines such as the Spumante Metro Classico, meaning that you still go through two fermentations. After you harvest the grapes, you know, crush the grapes, yeah. you ferment them in the large stainless steel tanks, and then eventually, um, you know, you basically create a, a base wine at that point, which does not, not have the bubbles yet, until the second fermentation starts, yeah. and there's an addition of, uh, you know, sugar and yeast. Basically, that, that sugar is going to ignite a second fermentation, which eventually will give bubbles to the wine, and we also create the style of wine, because as you know, sparkling wine, just like champagne, yeah. spumante, you know, prosecco, they can have different styles, meaning you can have brut, extra dry, you can have a um, sec, demi-sec, and so forth, which basically tells you about the level of sugar contained into mm. the product. This one specifically, it's an uh, extra dry, which is the most com commonly common. drank in Italy, meaning it's about 18 grams of residual sugar. The price is not gonna be sweet, mm -hmm. but rather it's gonna have roundness. It's gonna be a little oh. more um, flavor on the palate. So this one comes specifically from Valdo Biadene. So Valdo Biadene is a historical area for mm. the production of Prosecco. So you see the color, it's got this beautiful um, golden hay yes. type of color, uh, yep. which is typical of this area because we are now on the hillsides, the best exposed vineyard sites for the production mm -hmm. of uh, Glera grapes and Prosecco. And the so nose. What year is it? Uh, prose uh, prosecco is so never. They, well, they don't do it by year, it's like you just. Correct. It's, uh, for the most part, 99% of the case is non vintage. So you so should buy it right away. You buy it right away, but uh, exactly. You, yeah. you rely on the producer because the producer ultimately, just like fashion, cars, many other things, the producer is going to be the, your basically where the quality lies. Got it. Uh, but what they do, you know, they create a base wine. They don't start second fermentation until mm -hmm. there's an order coming. So that way you only always have the most freshest product. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is known vintage. That's what Prosecco is. Cheers. Salute. Cheer. Cheers, Ciro. Grazie. Uh, so you see beautiful aromatics, you got a little bit oh, of a... Uh, I already drank it, sorry. That's okay. Maybe, uh, I know. <laughs> it's really don't want to jump into the glass <laughs> sorry, while I jumped waiting. In. But, uh, I'm but swimming no, it's in it. You got these beautiful uh, <laughs> um, uh, citrus notes, then you got a little bit of the golden apple, which is typical of Valdobiadene because being on higher sorry. hillsides, you get a little more sun compared to the I other like areas mm -hmm. uh, surrounding it. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is on the palate. Prosecco for us Italians is a very important moment. Uh, you know, represents a very important moment of the day, which is the aperitivo moment. 
when everything I stops, think, yes. typically around five, six o'clock in the evening, everybody goes for an aperitivo, and definitely at this time of the year, celebrating with also the end of the meal with panettone, pandoro, yes. and classic desserts. The desserts, and this is excellent. Um, you like it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. good. Villa Sandi, it's a My very historical uh, producer. They've been um, making Prosecco and other great sparkling mm. wines for four generations, so it's definitely um, so enjoyable. Uh, great representative of the, of the appellation. As I talk into the glass. And uh, what's up next? Next is going to be a very different wine because yes, it's still sparkling, still comes from Italy, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a wine that is made with 100% uh, Chardonnay. Oh. Uh, yes, because we are in the area of Trentino. So Trentino is one of the most mountainous uh, parts of Italy. We are right on the border with uh, Austria, pretty much. And uh, oh. so, uh, as you can see, the color is very different. Also, yes. a lot foamier because mm -hmm. this wine is uh, called Spumante. By Spumante, it never means it's sweet, but rather it means it's a fully sparkling wine. Uh, mm. This is made exactly in the same style as you would make a uh, champagne, meaning that the second fermentation, rather than being in the bottle, uh, yeah. sorry, in a large tank, yeah. rather takes place in the bottle. So the wine is going to be different because oh. it's going to take a lot more labor to it. Yep. That's why, typically speaking, champagnes cost a lot more money. It's not necessarily the case with Spumante from Trentino, but it can be a little more expensive mm -hmm. than Prosecco. But intensity of color, much more, much deeper. Deeper, uh, yeah, than the other Chardonnay, one. which is a much darker skin varietal than compared to Glera. And you'll see the intensity on the nose. So you smell it. Here you have a little more uh, uh, yeasty quality, mm -hmm. uh, bread dough, with your brioche, you definitely have a little more toasty type of quality. Very typical because it comes from the process of making this kind of wine. The yeasts that are into the bottle give this kind of different type of aromatic. Mm -hmm. So this is a... On the palate, it's a lot more austere. It's the type of wine that, mm. see, it's a great food wine. Prosecco can be also a food wine, but it's definitely more the aperitivo moment. Wine like this becomes more the wine that carries you through the dinner. So you can definitely have it with, oh, the, with uh, the fish based dishes, you can have a hearty pasta, you yep. can also have it with some meats. Yep. Uh, so definitely a wine enjoyable at any time, oh, especially it, throughout it, the holidays, you know. Tiro, you picked some great two wines. Yes, I did not make them, but you know, try to talk about them. I love them though. They're really good. Well, Tiro, thanks so much for um, celebrating New Year's Eve with us. Thank and you. Thank you for having me. Sharing your, um, my goodness, your expertise Grazie. of all these types of wines. Thank you. Thank you. So everyone, this has been the wine pairing for Salem Food Market's Prime Rib Dinner, celebrating New Year's Eve. I am Carol O'Connor, co-host of the Chef's Table series. And this is Chiro Peroni of Horizon Beverages. And we'll see you next time. Ciao.